Hello students, let's read this problem together. The top of a soup can has a radius of 4.5 inches. What is the area of the top of the soup can? So in this question, they're saying, what is the area? So they're asking for the area. So the very first thing that I need to do is look for a formula on my formula chart for area. Do you find one? It has to be area of a, what shape is the top of the soup can? That's right, it's a circle. So we want to find area of a circle on the formula chart. Good, so we are going to use area equals pi r squared. So in this formula, we are needing the r, which is the radius. So let's look in the problem. Did they give us the radius? Yes, they did. They gave us the radius is 4.5. So we're ready to substitute in the information. The area is pi, which we are going to use 3.14 times the radius, which is 4.5, and we square that. So if we extend that out, what that means is 3.14, that's the pi, times 4.5 squared means 4.5 times 4.5. So I'm actually going to do the squared part first because that was an exponent. So this right here, 4.5 times 4.5. going to give us 5 times 5 is 25. We carry 2. 20 plus 2 is 22. We're done with the 5, so we can put a placeholder. 5 times 4 is 20. We carry 2. 16 plus 2 is 18. And we're going to get 20 point. We have two numbers behind the decimal, the 5 in the first factor and the 5 in the second factor. So that's going to be 20.25. And we still have to multiply that times 3.14 to get the area of the top, the soup can. Okay, so now we're gonna multiply 3.14 times 20.25. So when we are multiplying uh, long numbers, I like to put the longer number on top. So I'm going to put 20.25 on the top, and then I have 3.14. Let's make sure we stay organized. Five times four is 20, we put the zero, carry two. Two times four is eight, and two is 10, carry one. Zero times four is zero, and one is one. Two times four is eight. We're gonna put the placeholder since we're done with the four. 5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 1 is 2, 0 times 1 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2. Now we are done with the 1, so we're going to put 2 placeholders. And we have 5 times 3 is 15, we're going to carry 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 0 times 3 is 0, and 2 times 3 is 6. Now we're going to add our rows together, we have 0, 5, 8, 15, carry 1, we have 3, and then 6. And now we're going to count our decimal places. So we have two decimal places in the first factor and two decimal places in the second factor. So in our product, we need four decimal places. So that means our decimal is going to go between the 3 and the 5. So our area is 
zero. But since it's an insignificant zero, which means it's not going to change the value we put it or not, then we can just leave it without the zero. And then our units, since we multiplied 4.5 times 4.5 and they were both in inches, is inches squared, or squared inches. So we have our area for the top of this can. The shape of the top of the can is a circle. So now let's look at the question again. It says, what is the area of the top of the soup can? So in that question, we know we just had to find the area of the top of the soup can, which was the circle, and we just said that's exactly what we've done. We took the area of a circle formula, we substituted in the information they gave us, and we have our area. So now let's look for our answer and check if it's there. And we have 63.58 is C. I would say that is the closest answer, and so I'm going to go ahead and select C. 63.58 is correct.